Howdy. Hey guys, what's up? So I am about to head to the airport. I've never flown and I'm going to Boston for the first time ever. It's for a work trip for like an expo, so I'm gonna try to capture as much as I can. I just wanted to come on here before I leave. It is currently seven and the flight leaves at 9.23, exactly, in the morning. So I just wanted to check in and I will come back whenever we land and whenever I can. And I just wanted to vlog this whole thing, hopefully, if I can stay committed enough. So I just wanted to say hello before I took off. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, what's up? So we made it to Boston and it is beautiful outside. Let me show you. Um, I cannot open the door all the way. As you can see, there's there's a little stoppy right there. But so that's my view uh, for the next few days. Beautiful. Uh, the hotel room is actually pretty freaking cool too. I love this. I love the art that's in here. We're at the Revere Hotel. So it does make sense, the art and the portraits. But my favorite by far is these rad founding fathers of ours that we have here in this mirror. Hello, it is me. Okay, so we went out to eat to this really cool place called the Parish Cafe and I had mac and cheese, a huge bowl of mac and cheese, so my carb diet has gone out the window, um, but it was totally worth it and I, it's so beautiful down here. There's so much cool architecture. There's so many flowers just hanging out of windows. It's very beautiful. It's very artsy and very cool. I love it. So I'm going to put on some comfy clothes before we go out to dinner later, which I'm going to get like a cracker or a salad because I'm not hungry at all. So I will check in with you guys later and I hope you guys are having a great day. This is such a cool city so far and I cannot wait to explore it farther. See ya! Hello! So I have gotten out of my pants and into some shorts so now I'm a little more comfortable and I'm going to try to do a little bit of work but my first flight was great. Nothing about it was scary. I was terrified that I was going to be scared if that makes any sense but I was not. Everything was great. I loved. It felt like a roller coaster when we were taking off because we were going fast and then when we were coming in for a landing but I liked everything about it. I was not scared at all. It The first flight only took about 45 minutes and then the second one was about two hours so like none of it was bad and they had free Wi-Fi but it was like limited access but I did get to watch the movie Us and I am so mad at the ending. I'm so upset. I'm not going to give it away because if I haven't seen it, I know there's other people that haven't. But man, get ready to get mad because, oh, oof. But I, so it was a great use of time. I mean, the flight was two hours and the movie was a minute and 56. Wait, a minute. The movie was a minute long. It was fast. I had to watch it like five times to get it all. No, the movie was an hour and 56 minutes. So it was perfect. It was a great time. I, I had just a few minutes and listened to a few songs before we landed, but it was great. Uh, nothing, but we almost, almost didn't get on one of our flights because the second we got to the gate we were supposed to get to, he looked at his phone, my boss who was traveling with me, and it changed gates. Like, the app had just notified him. So we run from where we just came from, but we made it. So that was, that's been my experience so far. So I'm going to get some work done. I just want to come on here and share my first flight experience with you guys, and I will see you later. So here I am out of the shower. We ended up not doing dinner because we ate really late and my boss from Italy did not 
get over here until, or he's not going to get over here till like 8 or 9. And that's just too late for us to go out and then shower and then do all that. So I just went ahead, did my exercises, showered, and I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. And we're going to meet up for breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we're going to try to do some like looking at sightseeing and historical stuff. And I told them I found a place I want to go shopping. So we'll see how that goes. So hopefully tomorrow will be a little more eventful and we'll get to see a lot more stuff. So... Good night, sweet dreams to you all, and sleep so well. Goodbye. Whoa, hello. What's up, guys? So it's day number two of Boston. I'm about to go downstairs for a business breakfast, and it is 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am not used to being all the way up and totally ready at this hour so here we go hopefully we'll explore us a little more today go to the park go look around go shopping and i'll be able to show you guys a lot more of this really pretty city that i'm in so let's check out the outfit right quick so i have on this outfit that i got um most of it's from h and m i think the whole thing is from h and m this is a bodysuit so it's not going to come untucked. I got these pants that are cropped from H&M and I've had these shoes for a long time but I still love it. I love it. I love it. I love that. I, I don't know. I've never worn like slacks and I love that they're cropped. I used to think I couldn't wear like cropped pants and that they look super weird and they wouldn't look good on me but I'm glad I grew out of that and here we go. what's up so we went out shopping today we did I did work quite a bit today and I'm still working actually right now but I wanted to take a quick break you go whoop because uh, we went shopping and I forgot I'm gonna put the name of where we went shopping right here when I figure it out uh, I went into Neiman Marcus for the first time and I didn't realize it was so expensive but I already saw cute stuff so I had to get it I had to and I did so I'm gonna show you guys what I got Okay, so like I said, I went to Neiman Marcus for the first time, and I got some stuff. So I want to show you guys what I got. Everything I got is from one brand called Alice Plus Olivia. It was all so cute, and that's what drew me into the store, and that's what kept me in the store. The rest of Neiman Marcus was, I mean, it was pretty and okay, but like this was like creme of the crop. Okay, so let me start off by, let me start off by seeing if I can find my favorite piece. I can't. I just remembered. My favorite, favorite piece I bought, they had to alter it, and so they're going to ship it to me. Uh, they could have shipped me all this stuff, but then I couldn't have done this, and I really just wanted this stuff with me. It just If I'm going to spend that much money, I'm going to keep it with me at all times. But they're going to send me the skirt that they had to alter, and it's just so freaking cute, and I can't wait to get it in, and I will definitely show it to you guys when it does come in. Okay, so the first thing I got, I'm going to wear this as an outfit. They didn't have it paired together, but I did try it on together, and it looked super freaking adorable. So the first thing is this top. It's kind of like, to me, it looks like snakeskin pattern, and it's kind of cropped. Um, it is enough to tuck into the skirt, which is high-waisted, but it would probably hit around the belly button with jeans on. And it has this little... Um, this other thing that it's detachable but it's like a choker or I guess if I keep this strap on I can just like hang it over my head uh, I'm not gonna keep this on it is not supposed to be kept on uh, but it's, it's so cute and it's it is kind of thick but the sleeves are also pretty airy so I imagine I mean right now it would be very hot it is very hot outside even in Boston it's getting a little hot so there's that and then this skirt is so cute 
Ah, uh, it's so cute. Look at it though. My gosh, I think it is the most adorable thing ever. I just love how it comes across. So let me try this on for you guys. Okay, so here's this outfit. Look at this little skirt. Oh, I just absolutely adore it. I do not have the collar on, as you can see it is dangling. I do not have that on because I do have a necklace on already. And since I'm not wearing it, I don't want to risk losing this thing. But look how cute this skirt is. Oh, I adore it so much. And this shirt tucks in so cute. So let me just show you guys how long it really is. So it's not... It's really not that much longer, so I think it'd be very cute with some jeans or something, uh, some high-waisted jeans. Uh, I just think it's adorable. But anyway, just it is just so cute, especially tucked in. I adore it. I love the little flair that this skirt has, and it can be very summery, very springy, very anything, and I just absolutely adore it adore adore i love this top like i said it's very snaky and it's as you can see it's pretty sheer so it will be a little cool but not in this 90 degree heat not that cool so let's look at the next outfit okay so the next thing i got the next thing i got this is probably my favorite thing i have in the bag <laughs> The lady at the counter said I got lucky because somebody returned this and it is my size. They, the only one in the store they had. Just look at this detail. Oh, it's so cute. They're so cute. The sequins are so freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. And the tag comes with a huge bag of sequins just in case they fall off, which furniture they're going to but it's just it was just too cute to pass up it's like it's like a little fairy princess you're in the little garden and so adorable oh my gosh i cannot i cannot i cannot get over it i love it and i can't wait to wear it all the time i'm gonna sleep in it okay here she is here is oh here's this little cutie oh my goodness and I, the fact that it has this little thing under here it does not itch at all and it's so adorable oh my goodness i am absolutely in love thank you whoever returned it thank you because i i i i just look at it look how freaking adorable this is Oh my goodness, I can't wait to wear this literally everywhere. I was joking about sleeping in it. I'm no longer joking about sleeping in it. Just, oh, I, I love the scoop neck. I think it makes things look so fancy, so cute, and I just absolutely adore it. I cannot get over how, like, magical and ferial and la la la, whatever other magic y words you want to put in there, it is, but it is just so cute. And it's a good length, too. It's right, it's right above the knee, and it's just perfect i am so thankful that they had this i'm so thankful that i saw this and i wish you could just feel it Ooh, i wish you could just feel it i can tell you i will definitely be using the extra sequins that come in here though because there is a lot on here not like i'm gonna see if one comes off but i if there if there's ever like a little hole then i guess i could use that but anyway let me know what you guys think do you love it as much as i do because i am in love with this thing all right let's look at the next thing i got so, the next thing, I think this is the last thing I got um, until my skirt comes in, is this other dress. Now, this reminds me of, like, some 50s style because it's, it's got this really, I just love this. This is what I love, this little cute flare yachty thing. And I like the little neck at the top. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. I love it. I just love anything that's kind of vintage, and that looks kind of vintage to me. And with my hair, I could curl it and make it all kind of vintage or leave it like this, and it's still going to look pretty cool. But anyway, I wasn't going to get it, but then I opened the door of the thing, and the lady was like, oh, you look so cute. Well, fine. Then I'm going to get it. So, let's see what this looks like on for you guys. Look at this. That's so cute. Oh, I just, I love the fit. I love when things come out and then, I love it. And look at this, look at this. It's so cute. It it really is just so, like, vintage to me. It's, like, so mod, you know? Like, I can see me going, like, or what the freak ever. Don't, I'm, I'm not a historian. I don't know my time periods that well. But it looks vintage. And I just think it's so cute. Um, Not that I ever would come in the house and, honey, here's your cookies. But if I wanted to, I could in this. I wouldn't, though. 
because I'm eating those cookies. But that's a story for another day. But I just, uh, just look at it. It's so, uh, I love the zipper. Good thing. I was like partially like shoving my arm right there to get that over there. But if you're double jointed, hey, it's no problem. But if you have friends, it's also not a problem. But I, I, that has nothing to do with this dress. What it does have to do with this dress is that I love it. Let me know what you guys think. What 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 era would this fit in? Am I am I just totally off the rail with what I'm thinking here? But I also do love that it kind of like comes up on the side, the little flares. They start out kind of above the knee and they rise up a little bit on the sides. And it just gives this dress a whole, it takes it to a whole nother level. Like I said, I love the fit. It comes in and it's so comfortable. I love the turtleneck. I just love everything about this. It's so super cute. Duh. Goodness gracious. So, that was all. That was everything that I got. I love everything and I cannot wait till the skirt comes in. So I'll show you that in another video and I'm just super excited. Today is the 19th and it's supposed to be here on the 30th or that's when they're going to be finished. So I imagine it will be here around first or second week of August which is a long time now that I'm thinking about it, but it's okay. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it. So uh, anyways, I know this was a really quick video, but thank you all for watching. And I, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little, very quick haul I did for you guys. Hey guys, so it is day three. It is finally the day of the expo and it is about 8.30 and I'm about to head down in just a couple minutes to go to our booth and to our little sales support thing that we're going to have. Uh, I finally got my own shirt. Look at this shirt. Look at this. Oh yes, there's my sim systems right there and right there. Pop that collar. Don't do that because then you can't see it. So anyways, that's mostly the plan for today. We were going to uh, go out and explore the town, but we found um, a partner of ours and they said we could put some stuff at their booth. So I think we're going to hang out there. I cannot get over this view. I cannot get over this view. Let's just take, let's just take a look. One more time. We had a party down there last night. Um, it was kind of just like a, a reception. They had, oh my gosh, they had this pizza. Woo, where did I go? They had this pizza that was really good, and I want to go home so me and my dad and mom can make it and have it for dinner because it was so freaking good. It was just cheese sausage, but it had banana peppers on it, and I know it probably sounds boring, but, like, that's the extent of my palate. Like, I don't eat much crazy stuff so to me that's crazy stuff but anyway it was super good and I cannot wait to get home and hopefully try it so I'm gonna head on down there and I will hopefully catch up with you later if we do anything if not then I guess I'll see you tonight see ya hello guys I'm back again I just got back up from the expo I've never been around so much dental stuff in my life and I can't say I look forward to being around it again. <laughs> I know about our software, I just don't know about any of the words that are coming out of other people's mouths. I don't know what they're talking about. But I did a quick change and I think I'm going to walk to Starbucks. It's literally like five minutes away walking so I'm going to just quickly show you my, what I changed into. Um, I have on this black, it's not even, it's, it's, it's not a dress. It's not a dress, it's short, yes, with my sparkly boots and just some small jewelry up top. I couldn't wear any jewelry earlier because my polo was in the way. So I'm going to walk to Starbucks and I will be back.
guys. So I ended up going shopping <laughs> again. I went out to get Starbucks because it was just, it was a very quick walk and it's not very busy outside. And so I went to get Starbucks and I'm like, I saw some earrings and some jewelry I really wanted when I was in Neiman Marcus yesterday. So I was like, okay, it's only like a 10 minute walk. I'll just go. So after I got my Starbucks, which it was great. I have not gotten what I got before and it was so good. So after that, uh, I walked over to the mall, went inside, got a dress, and got um, the earrings that I wanted. And now I am soaking my feet, which is why I'm in the bathroom, um, because they are absolutely killing me. And uh, uh, I hate feet, so I don't want to touch them to rub them, so I'm just putting them in water. Uh, tonight I still have to go out for like a dinner thing, and then like some awards. I can't wait. I can't wait. I am really excited to go home though. Not because I don't like it here, but I mean Boston has been beautiful, but I just miss my bed and I'm so tired and I'm not getting good sleep. So I cannot wait to go home tomorrow. I look forward to it. My family looks forward to it. So I'll just update you guys either tonight or tomorrow before I head out. Okay, bye. Hello guys. So today is the last day. Thank you the lord and i'm not going to show you an outfit today because i don't have pants on so i'm really not going to show you an outfit today but um after we do the breakfast and we have like a little presentation that i'm going to come back up change and hopefully we will be outy and on the way back home to kentucky i will be so glad to get home i cannot sleep because i scare myself at night and i'm just looking so forward to a great night's sleep and I'm gonna stay the night with my gram gram when I get home, my grammy mall. So I can't wait for that and I hope I will sleep good. And But I did have a wonderful trip. I mean, Boston is absolutely beautiful. It's been so great. It has been a little hot, but I mean, there's so many buildings, so there's so much shade. So it really hasn't been that bad and it's just so nice. There's so much architecture and history here and it's just so amazing. So hopefully one day I can come back just for a vacation instead of a business trip. I think that would be great and the views out here are so so cool even though you can't open the doors on the balcony it's still great i forgot when we were on the rooftop at our like party thing i was looking up i'm like why is it why is no one out here and then and then 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 later it dinged on me when i tried to open my door they can't get out there and look because i was like okay i'm just gonna go upstairs and watch the party no the frick i'm not so anyways, I am going to head on downstairs to our presentation, get some breakfast because I have a headache because I am hungry and I am tired and I cannot wait to get home. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Hello guys, so I'm back from my trip. Oh my goodness. I It is the next day because I was just too tired when I got in and I have a headache. I had a headache and I still have a headache. I've had it for like three days now, so your girl is not doing well. Um but the last day was great we got done with the expo really early probably around 8 39 and so then we headed out on the town we got breakfast at this place called rocco's or rocco's or something it was like in this little like italy setting it was very cute we went to the paul revere house uh and we went to see the paul revere statue so that was very cool we also saw a couple more historical things we saw a big church uh it, we just had we were surrounded by such beautiful scenery it was like we transported to like a different time or another world there were more people than there were cars it was just super super cool then we went down while we waited for our uber we went to this like dock and got to look at the ocean or some form of water i'm not quite sure what we were looking at a harbor that's what we're gonna call it a harbor and it was just so beautiful and it was so peaceful and there was not a lot of noise going on even though there were people everyone was super respectful except for these little children who were fighting in the floor by the church but they're kids you know what friggin fight fight on but you find out you can only do that till you're like 18 then it's a long so but anyway it was just so so nice so peaceful and i'm super glad i went and i can't wait till hopefully one day i can go back as a vacation instead of a work trip so anyways that was all i really 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 hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed the beautiful city of boston and i cannot wait to hopefully travel again and show you guys else where i go so stay tuned and if you want to see any more videos please again let me know what you would like to see me do try try on order from go anything just let me know go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and click that bell 
and also give this a like and comment down below what you would like to see me do or what your favorite part of my trip was and where you've been, where you've been that you've liked because maybe I'll get lucky enough to go there one day. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!